for us uh, and for our drivers. To have JJ, Denny, and Tony involved, we think it's going to be a natural. No matter what style of racing you follow, in the wintertime we're all starving for action. So, uh, you know, this is a good opportunity to, in different areas to be able to go, uh, you know, watch a form of racing that's uh, new and exciting. In every sport, there are rules, and with an arena racing, it's no different. If it came on the car, it better be on the car. If it didn't come on the car, it better not be on the car. That's the rules. This is spec racing, meaning only cars manufactured for and purchased through arena racing are allowed to compete. If it's not adjustable on the car, you better not touch it. This makes Arena Racing USA a purely skill-based competition. In racing, we have colored flags. Green means go, yellow means slow down, and red means stop, and you better stop. The blue flag with the yellow stripe means to yield to the oncoming faster traffic. But, that's, but us as rookies, uh, we have to figure it out for ourselves. Arena Racing uses all the standard flags during a race. The blue flag, the courtesy flag, and it's not mandatory. The black flag means loose body parts on your car, uh, leaking fluid on the track, leaking gasoline on the track, and uh, roughing up another driver. You definitely don't want black flag. Disregard a black flag, though, your car won't be scored for the remainder of the race, and it could result in other penalties after the race. Cross flag means halfway. White flag means one lap to go. And checkered flag means I won the race. You score points with each event. The driver with the most points at the end of the year wins the championship and the big money. Just like the Winston Cup and Bush Series, the arena racing drivers compete for a season-long points championship. The top three finishers in each main race win cash prizes, points, and a trophy every event. So every event is critical to determine who wins the season's top $10,000 prize and the coveted championship title. Over $50,000 in cash and prizes are awarded through the season, making it one of the best funded, most competitive racing series in the country. The, the car alone weighs 525 pounds minimum. Uh, with the driver, you have to weigh a minimum of 725 pounds, and they will take you after the race, so you better make weight. To keep it spec class, all cars have a minimum weight requirement of 725 pounds, with 51.5% of the total race weight in the rear of the race car. If you're light on weight, lead bars can be added to the chassis in approved areas only. The top finishers in each race report to the scales immediately following their race or they're disqualified. You come to the track with a full tank of gas purchased at a corner gas station, regular unleaded only, and you do not mess with the gas. The fuel cell holds one and a half gallons of fuel. No racing fuel, aviation fuel, or additives of any kind are allowed. Just go to your corner gas station, a little bit of unleaded, and you've got it. This is one of those rules and fractions that carry a huge penalty with arena racing. Don't mess with the tires. Tires, tires, tires. All cars compete on identical tires purchased from arena racing. Nothing's to be put on the tires other than regular soap and water. The tires are impounded after each race until the next event to prevent any treating or tampering with the tires. All teams are supposed to use two-way radios. So their crew can talk to their driver. Can you hear me now? Yeah. The radio is a lot of coaching of the drivers, communication with officials, warnings of danger ahead in case of a crash, and also allows you, the fan, to listen in on your scanner. Bring your scanner and get in on the action behind the scenes. The age limit to run is 14 years old. Uh, I think I've reached that criteria uh, tremendously, so they call me the old man of the sport. Kind of funny that the oldest driver out here tells us that you have to be 14. Drivers range, as you can see, from 14 to 59, but there's no age maximum. Just the minimum age requirement of 14. All drivers must have a valid arena racing competition license and submit to a driver's test if requested by arena racing officials. We've got a sport that we think is extremely affordable. Uh, I get excited about anything like that where you can see where a son and a dad or a daughter and a dad can get together for a reasonable amount uh, uh, of money uh, and wind up getting into something where they could race all year long. 